What's up, Mid Convo fam? Welcome to the Mid Convo vlog. Yo, for this one, we went to New York City, cranking out episodes together. We brought some guests on. All around, it was a great trip. You've already listened to the episodes that we recorded in New York. We had Craig Adams on, we had Andy Toe, and it's gonna be cool just to see the footage of what it's actually like. Of course, listening to it is one thing, but we're gonna give you a little behind the scenes curtain of us in these spaces, setting up the gear, and all the things that are racing through me and Paul's head when we're trying to bring these episodes to life. But the real question is, since it's a vlog, do we still run the intro music though? <laughs> Let's roll that intro music. Sheesh! First day in New York, I landed earlier than you did. I got to the hotel. We actually brought a good friend, Johnny, on this trip. Johnny! He's a friend of mine from Minneapolis. We grew up together. Yeah. He's a producer at Target. Brought him on to shoot some behind the scenes. He shot some film photos. I got in early, and then Ed showed up. Oh, Johnny. Holy sh, look at this place, bro. Queen How many beds. bags do your boys have? Because your boy had to struggle with this big boy right here. <laughs> Ed had the Pelican. Guys, I showed up with a backpack and a dusty away suitcase. <laughs> and I knew Ed was coming with all the podcast equipment, yep. all the gear that we needed. So dude, thanks for bringing that. I love the first day because we were able to kind of get settled in and figure out, okay, what is our plan of attack for the guest episodes? Mm -hmm. And then also what were we gonna come together and talk about for our internal episodes? I think what's also a really inspirational thing for us is we're constantly shooting in different spaces, which is a hassle because we have set up the gear all the time. But what's really cool about it as well is it doesn't get boring ever. Let's say we had a podcast studio and it's just stationary. That's convenient. But when we rolled up to this New York hotel we were at, Yo. it was fire. It was small, but it was fire. <laughs> What's so cool about not being in the same city yeah. is when we come together, we really make things happen. You can only do so much over Zoom. And I think you guys will see in a lot of this behind the scenes footage that we really love being able to be in person, talk through ideas, meet up with some of our friends. And uh, later that day, we uh, met up with our buddy Bradley. Yep. And we had some drinks. Yep. And Bradley came in clutch. We went to his studio space. Mm -hmm. That was picked cool. Picked up some gear. Got an epic view of the skyline. All right. We just found one of the most epic rooftops at Bradley's office. Check this out. Yo, look at this rooftop though. Bro, Bradley, why are you holding out? Look at this rooftop no, though. No, give Bradley the camera. Only New Yorkers would think <laughs> this isn't that great. Yo. Dude, what the <laughs> We were about to run an episode up there and then we we're like, yeah. Hey Bradley, are we supposed to be up here? I don't know. So we ended up just getting some fun content up there. Yep. It was a good hang. And um, we had to get pizza. I mean, we're in New York. It's like one of the first things we did. Got the pizza. No Parmesan cheese though. Oh, that drizz. The honey drizz kind of wild. Not so much. I mean, yes and no. Day two was jam packed. Day two was a whole lot of Ubers. A lot of workouts. I worked out twice on day two. We went to Lifetime, got a workout in with our boy Johnny. Yep. We kind of canceled that workout out and got bagels after. Yeah, we did. I was tired. That was an hour. That was the day you made us walk like two miles we in the city. We walked a lot. I pulled up Google Maps and it said almost a mile. I'm like, oh, we got this? Heck no. Your There's a bunch of stoplights. Winded after that two mile walk. Got some bagels. Yep. Got ready. Then went to this first rented location. Yep. And this is something that maybe a lot of people don't talk about in the creative space. When you rent studios, it can be a whole thing. You mm -hmm. know, as you know, when we're doing this podcast, we have a lot of cameras, a lot of gear. And we're always setting up and tearing down. So it's actually really important that we have the right studio space to pull off the job. Yep. So this first space we spot, it was good. Like the photos were good online, but it was loud. Yep. And audio is super important. Literally, that construction, and then that was the studio. That was the studio we were just in. There was a lot going on, but uh, we were able to set up right away, crank out a few internal episodes, and it went well. After our first location, we literally had to hustle back to our hotel, get our gear situated. You know, your boy had to charge some batteries, mm -hmm. okay? And then we had to get ready for our first guest episode that evening. Kind of an interesting one. Yeah. Because I started off by going to Equinox and Huston Yards. <laughs> Wait, Andy, up, we're going to go get a quick lift in. He's That's taking me to 
Equinox. <laughs> Equinox Hustling Yards, one of the one of the best gyms in the city. <laughs> Let's go. And what's awesome about that is I got to give you props. Yeah. You and Andy have connected on Instagram prior to the New York trip. Mm -hmm. He was your connection. And one way that you got to know him before the episode was by working out with him. Yeah. And bro, that was your second workout. Probably pretty tired. I was chilling at the hotel with Johnny. <laughs> and then we met up with you guys at his spot, the lab. Yep. Being physically in that space is kind of an interesting experience. And it's just really it reminded me why we do this podcast. One, we love talking. We love good conversations. Another reason is like we want to connect with awesome people. Yeah, you know, connecting over DMs and chatting back and forth is cool, but you still can't beat that human interaction. Mm -hmm. And we're trying to inject some of that into our episodes and into a video like this. So everyone who watches can feel like they're a part of this community. They feel like they're part of this human interaction. It's not just a transaction of here's some value, goodbye. And so being at the lab or being at Andy's space was really nice because it made me realize we need to not make everything so transactional yeah. when building a business or building a podcast. And this is a tip for anyone listening. If you're trying to grow in the creative space, have to be human about it. You can't just treat every person or everything that happens as like a business transaction. Absolutely. I think that's what's so cool about you and I investing into the podcast yeah. with our own money, even though there's no sponsors, but we're so passionate about it. And I love the in-person episodes because mid combo is all about getting into mid conversation. Yep. We walked into Andy's space and I'll be honest with you, we chatted for about an hour. Yeah, before we even Before hit. we even press record, yeah. we were able to get through that first initial layer that comes with most conversations. Mm -hmm. I'll be honest, I don't think it would have been as impactful Mm -hmm. If we would have done that whole episode over Zoom. That's facts. Yeah, it does make a huge difference. As you can tell, if you tune into that episode, mm -hmm. there's a lot of emotional moments. Yeah. My boy Andy went deep. He went in. And uh, I feel like the tone was set. Yeah. If you haven't watched that episode yet or listened to it, highly would recommend. It's about essentially becoming like the main character in your own life. And if you feel like you've been struggling to figure out your own path, your own lane, doing a bunch of odd jobs, you're just trying to figure out who you are, that's a fire episode to listen to. So yeah. we'll definitely link down below and give it a listen. Welcome to New York. Jeez. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Okay, day three. This was our last full day yes. in New York. And uh, we wanted to bring on one more guest, but first we wanted to crank out some episodes with just you and I. Mm -hmm. So we hopped into the second pure space on the trip. Yep. Which was awesome. Oh, shit. Dude, I'm surprised I was able to do that. And for those of you who don't know, we keep saying pure space. This is a quick tip for y'all. If you're looking for a space to shoot in, do anything in creative, purespace.com. Dude, they should sponsor us for I this, know. man. What is this? That's a free plug. Even more, if you guys are looking to rent spaces for your client shoots or podcasting, anything. Yeah. We love pure space, but you got Gigster. Yep. And there's a few others out there like Home Studio List. Yeah, we should export that clip and send it to pure space. <laughs> so we should get a sponsor. We should. Okay. When we showed up to that location, it was the definition of a blank space. And I feel like we did a really good job at making it look like our style. Yeah, we made a little AI reel too, just to, cause that was trendy at the time. AI clip comes up, changing all the backgrounds and stuff. Super trendy. That was fun. That was cool. I think it's also important to note that there's a decent amount of being in flow state when you're doing these types of things. Ideas can come up in the moment and you just kind of execute. Mm -hmm. That's hard though. Yeah. That's really hard as yeah. a creative because we're so overstimulated by Instagram and TikTok and YouTube. We get so like overwhelmed with because there's so many things we could be doing that it almost paralyzes us. Yeah. We're like, is this even worth shooting? Mm -hmm. When in doubt though, turn that camera on and get that clip. Hey, you just don't know where it you even got up. the film photo clip there of Johnny. Yeah, exactly. We'll so pop just, that up here on the screen. It was loud though. Do you remember? Oh, there was like a dance class or something. Upstairs. We had to take a few breaks throughout. You're an entrepreneur. You're a business owner. We were just looking at each other during the episode. Like, oh man. Ooh. After a few episodes of me and you, Craig Adams showed up. Yes, sir. Yo, Craig Adams. That dude's awesome. Yeah, and for a little context, if you haven't listened to that episode or watched that one, Craig Adams, he's a minimalist hiker filmmaker. Do you know any minimalist hiker filmmakers? Crazy. It's also really inspiring because he started out in wedding filmmaking mm -hmm. and then basically scrapped that, just straight up dropped it and went into this new chapter of his life. And now he's like traveling to crazy places around the world. It's interesting because he gives a lot of good insight on how to transition out of something. I know there's a lot of people listening who feel like they're stuck. Mm -hmm. They're either stuck at their job 
they're stuck in certain niche that they didn't want to be stuck in forever. Yeah. And so figuring out how to pivot out of that is extremely difficult. And we went over that in the episode with Craig. I love that. I just want to touch on real quick with guest. Setting the tone is everything. Mm -hmm. And it's something that I struggle with sometimes as an extrovert even. You know, Craig shows up, get to know him a little bit, but we do our research going into it. We make sure we know, yeah. first of all, what the heck Craig's kind of doing online. Yep. So then we have speaking points, but it's hard sometimes when you're meeting someone in person for the first time to try to break their shell in a way and also to set the tone for the conversation. Mm -hmm. And I feel like with Craig, it was awesome just getting to know him a little bit more and then hopping right into it. Yeah. And then again, shout out to Johnny for all the photos, man. Film photos. He's a beast. Yep. So what do we do after the episode, though? I was pretty gassed at this point. We had a long day, but we had to keep moving. We're in New York City. We can't just be sitting down doing nothing. We went into the city. We did some exploring, did some shopping. Boba got, tea. Got some poba. We met up with some friends. I just encourage anyone watching this right now who are watching these clips that we're overlaying in this video that documentation is everything mm -hmm. because how priceless will it be when you look five years later down the road 10 years later down the road and what you're working on finally comes to fruition to the way you expected it to be and then you have documentation of the whole process that's awesome so if anyone's listening and you're just like ah, i don't know if my life is worth documenting i don't know if my clients are cool enough i don't know if i should post bts I'm telling you right now, take this as a sign to do it. Mm -hmm. Your future self will thank you. Yep. And even clips of me and Paul getting boba in New York. That's crazy. Dude, nice that might be an expensive clip at some point. <laughs> totally. <laughs> Dude, back to the first vlog real quick. If people have watched it, great. Yeah. We did it in LA. We'll link it below. We did maybe one too many guests on that trip. Dude, we were yeah. burned out. In a burned way. out. I remember like when we got to the airport, I'm like, see ya. <laughs> right? But for New York, we brought on two guests. Yeah. We brought on Andy and we brought on Craig because we wanted to make sure that we had enough time for you and I just to kick it. Yeah, for sure. So a lot of the New York trip was us just game planning and having like deep conversations around strategy and like where we want the podcast to go. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what was so cool about New York was even meeting up with people that might not have been guests, but we're in the city and we felt like we're gonna be just good hangs. Mm -hmm. That was a cool moment for me. We're doing a little meetup with some uh, freelancers from New York. It's gonna be fun. And you know, showing like you know the lineage, like being able to tell someone was like 25, 30. Wow. That's textured, right? Oh, that's a Bro, I think New York was awesome. And I think one thing that I really appreciated was it got us fired up for future trips where we're gonna be able to bring on guest episodes, get together and do some powwows. And overall, I was really pleased with just how it all laid out. And I think, again, the biggest reason, if you're this deep into the vlog and you're still watching right now, me and Paul just really want to bring you along this journey. Mm -hmm. And we want to be more than just someone you tap into on Apple Podcasts or Spotify or wherever you listen to our podcast. We want it to feel like a community. And in order to do that, we need to show the behind the scenes process. Yep. And so if you enjoy this vlog or this type of format, definitely let us know in the comments section below or let us know which, which city you want us to go to next. Yo. We have some fire, Yeah, we're looking fire at, we're looking at the up. next six to 12 months and where we're gonna go next. Maybe let us know some guests that you'd like us, yeah. like us to um, bring on. We're That'd even cool. thinking about doing these like mid-combo meetups. So if we're in that city and you're around and you listen to the podcast, we just wanna do some coffee hangs, get you in Live these episodes. vlogs. That would be so awesome, but we are gonna keep it pushing and we really appreciate everyone who listens to the mid-combo podcast. Let's go catch you in the middle of the conversation. <laughs> Mic drop. <laughs>